What is up guys, Fire here from AwesomeTudes.com. Welcome to another episode. I'm saying episode because apparently I made this a series where I play your games that you sent me. And by the way, if you want me to play your game and showcase it like this you see here in the video, to all my subscribers and people that will discover this on YouTube, just send me your game on developer at awesome2s.com. That's my email address. Send me the link of your game. Maybe some short explanation of what your game is about. Just do that. Send it on my email and you will find my email below. So link to the email will be in the description below. But again, it's developer at awesome2s.com. Now I want to go in because I'm excited about the last game that I'm going to play. Not that I'm not excited about the other games, but the last game was had really stunned me, which is going to be really cool. And I believe a lot of you guys are going to love it. So let's start with the first game, which is called Uridium 2 by Precision Software. And what I'm going to do is I have the game over here. So I'm going to simply run it from my computer. It's made in Unity, obviously. What I love about this game right away is the the main menu. So I love the main menu, how it's made, the animations. I love when the main menu is alive. That's one of the essentials to make a really interesting game. Now I'm gonna go here and play the game and tell you what I don't like or what I believe should be fixed about this game. There's some kind of space first person shooter where you have missions. As you can see here, we are on the mission to find a weapon and a missile and get back to the ship. I already see that we have some kind of enemies over here. We have some pickable items. I see, I, I love the level. I'm assuming that this is some kind of asset on the asset store. Now we cannot pick up the ammo, apparently, when we don't have the gun, that's the first issue. So I should be able to pick up the ammo, even though if I don't have a gun, because when I pick up the gun, you can then add that extra ammo to the gun. But anyways, as I said, I'm assuming this is some kind of Unity asset. Now, I'm not bashing, I'm not telling that's bad. I personally would use a asset if, we'll, if it will make my development life easier. I just don't approve that you take the asset and don't change anything, you know, just take the asset as is and try to put it as your own. So, you know, that's a big no-no, but if you add some kind of your, some your features and so on and so forth, then of course you can use the asset. Now, what I also don't love is the, the controls, how the, the player is moving. It feels like he is, you know, skating on the ice, so that will be a great thing to fix. Also, when I'm running with the enemy or actually running with the player, so holding shift to run, it feels very, very unnatural, which is something that you should also fix. Now let's shoot the enemy. The shooting and the enemy movement is also not done correctly. I can see you have the glitch over here. The enemy is still chasing me even though he's dead. You can use events to fix this. Now I can pick up the ammo, which is cool. Now again, you can use events to fix the enemy moving towards me even though I have killed it. You can also correct the enemy movement, enemy AI. I know that on your on on the page for for your game you said this is a demo but these are my suggestions that you can fix you can see over here you have some glitches that for example this enemy is not moving let's try to shoot him and you know the, the shooting also should be done while i'm holding the left mouse button so he should so, shoot like you know rifle shoot so that also something that you can fix now this enemy is not dying so yeah we do have a lot of glitches in this game, so I'm not gonna, you know, hold or play this game much longer because, you know, I want to move on to next games and showcase them, but these are some of the issues that you can fix. And while I cannot wait, I'm simply going to go on the task manager and kill your game right away so that I don't have to wait for it to quit. Now, the next game, and by the way, I will put the link to every single one of these games, Links will be in the description of the video, so below the video. Now, next game we have a Dududgeon or Dududgeon, Dududgeon. Oh, I I don't know what this is. Go or do dot d dot geon dungeon. I don't, I'm not sure, man. I'm butchering this, but this is by Almi Games. So a really nice game. I love the idea. So let's go over here and play it because I have downloaded on my Unity, on my Unity. I downloaded on my computer and the game is made with Unity, which is again, obvious. I love the simplicity of the main menu. I love the particles moving. So as I said, I love when the main menu is alive, even 
it at least had these particles over here and I love how you blended in the colors everything it looks really nice so over here I don't know what this hell mode is probably something very very hard so let me just go actually exit and let's go back switch to keyboard switch to mouse that's basically the controls high scores over here that looks cool so I love that language apparently you implemented the language this looks also nice I love that mute and unmute audio pretty obvious I'm going to switch to keyboard and play the game so try to play the game so click with the mouse to the hero adjust ad ascent tiles to move or use WASD key okay pick or collect coins to earn points and collect hearts to get extra lives and get the shield for the immunity okay pretty clear I cannot move over a WASD key this does not work, so WSD key apparently doesn't work, or I don't know at least how to work it. But I love, I love the mechanic, or I love the idea of the game, what you are doing. I'm not sure how, do, how did you put the system for collecting the items, so I have only one more life left. As I said, I don't know the system that you put up for, for collecting items, but I can see that the coin is moving and I, I'm not able to pick it up. So that is something that can be fixed. Okay, I pick up the, sword, the, the shield, which is okay because otherwise I would die because I, I'm not good at playing my own games, not even playing somebody else's games. But yeah, a small game, I can see this as a cool mobile game, but you know, it feels like it's monotonous a little bit. You know, you have just these things that are happening and I saw a glitch right now that it didn't kill me. I had one heart left and it didn't kill me previously. I love this animation, this looks really cool. This looks really cool so you can play again or quit. Pretty obvious, a small game. As I said, I can see this a nice mobile game by putting some mobile controls. It can look, it can look a little, a little nice and polished, but I would add some more features, add some more functionality, maybe some more animations while you're playing the game, maybe some more enemies that attack you, some more features that you can pick up, something that you can throw, so on and so forth. A nice idea, a nice concept for those of you guys who want to support the creators, link will be in the description below if you want to play the game. So moving forward, this is our squishy run made by its big boy Rick, okay big boy Rick? So let's run the game, it's an infinite runner game, a really cool one, I played it just, you know, a moment or two, it's made by Unity, which is obvious again. Now the point of the game is you can resize this, whatever you call it, and I love that, I love the idea, it looks really nice and I the controls feel, I mean the controls are only for you to resize this, but Again, it looks cool. It looks cool. I love the game. I love the concept and uh, it's something that I see it's fun to play, not something that would be there on the long run. And probably what you can fix is maybe maybe the, the spawning of, of these obstacles. Just fix the spawning of the obstacles because I think they spawn too quickly, not allowing me not allowing me to, to reshape or at least that's my feeling maybe i don't know how to play the game or whatnot but yeah you get the point that's not it's there is not not much to the game other than what you just saw as you can see i'm dying too many times maybe you can probably probably make them not spawn that close to each other you know just make them a little bit away from each other again just for the obvious reasons as I already stated but the game looks nice the game feels nice maybe add some more obstacles maybe make the game more like you know balanced in terms of the spawning and all the good stuff but yeah those are my two cents now moving to the last game my favorite the favorite one I played so far from my subscribers made by Rana Hatting. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing your, right, your name right. I talked to her, she she asked me a few questions before. I cannot remember was it because of the game or related to this game because it was a long time ago, probably a couple of months ago. But the game looks amazing. The game is called My Inner Demon. You know, it, it, it looks really, really cool and I encourage everybody to download it and play it. I'm going to open it right here. Here it is, the game. And I'm going to run the game and as you can see you can set the you can set the resolution right away I'm going to hit play over here. It's made by unity now the cool thing about this game is that so this is a nice intro like your you know 
credit to yourself. I can see this a really cool portfolio game because the game feels really nice. Now, what you can do is for this intro video that you have on your game, just a suggestion, make it obvious for the user who is playing your game that he should press escape to, you know, escape from this. I love the main menu. It's alive. It looks cool. I love the fog over here. You know, it, it looks really nice. Of course, a few things can be polished, but overall it looks nice. Controls over here that you can click on. So action is E, pause is on escape, journal is on G. There you go. So you can click on play and right away. I love that the game even has the has the text where oh the character God, a dead man. the character is you know speaking and and this looks cool this looks cool and let me just press J for the journal so I woke up in this strange place I have no idea who I am where it is I feel weirdly calm blah 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 yada 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 let's try to explore I love you know that you can explore this and when you hover on something that you can you know use you can expect it inspect it not expected, inspected like this. Anyways, let me just a come close. Bad luck. Paul John lived here. It's a cool thing. I think that this craw is a very big part of the game. And let's take a look at this. Violence turned her into bloody gore. Last month, he lost his wife, house, and job. He sold his mom's old stuff with a saw. Mom's life insurance gave him some hope, but bad luck showed him. He was a doe. Please, find that precious piece of paper, else you too will die from the vapor. The paper is the source of his soul. Find it, and you will have reached your goal. Find John's life insurance. Got it. I found it interesting that you, you know, rhymed everything, which is cool. So if we try to go outside, we cannot. We can inspect these things. So yeah, we have a journal over here if you want to read the journal, you know, I'm not gonna read it, but yeah, you can pause the video, read it or download the game and play it. So uh, yeah, basically that's all there is to it here that we can do, but we can go over here and search for, search for that, what we have, the insurance. So it's not here. I love that the game is interacting, you know, like it's, it's, you know, telling me things and so on and so forth. I, so far, the best game I played from the, from my subscribers, really cool. Props to you, Rona, props to you. This is something that you can use definitely as a portfolio, upload it online. I mean, it's already online. People can download it for those of you who want to donate, want to support the work. It's really, really cool. Now over here. Over here is where we will find the insurance, which is cool. And now that we have found the insurance, the door has opened. I love the mechanic. I love how you put everything in. I, how lo I love that the game is story-based. And this craw is apparently some badass craw that's going to ruin our life. But anyways, we just woke up again. What, what happened? I teleported? Oh, my God. I mean, this looks cool. This... The game's like a horror game, you know? Uh, a strange car started talking to me, crazy I know, he told me about John, I must find his mom insurance, that was the previous one. I teleported after finding John's insurance, I cannot believe it, it feels so strange. Looking through the windows, it is all dark, I can see some buildings, trees, and rocks. Okay, we don't have nothing else. Next. Sarah was a really lucky girl. She received good news, which made her twirl. The lottery gave her some money, just enough to keep her day sunny. She wanted to help her good friend John. He fell again for another con, buying crates of shady bottles of wine. Drinking one made her feel not so fine. She hid her cash in a secret place. Find her stash, bring a smile to her face. In that way, you have saved her soul. There's more to the story, more of foul. Find Sarah's stash. Got it. So cool, we have missions, you know, this time I'm looking for Sarah's stash, I cannot refuse, otherwise I will be stuck in this apartment for a very, very long time. So there you go, you basically get, you know, hints from this crawl, what you should do, what you need to do. The, the controls can be a little bit, you know, you can make the controls 
not move the character should not move that fast while I'm moving you know a little bit slower because this is not a game where I should run from somebody if there is a case a scenario where you should then you should you know like pump up his speed but here when I'm searching he should like move a little bit slower I love the overall feel of the game I love that the game is story based and over here can we you know can we save the game because I saw that you have the load as far as I remember, so load from here, or is it auto saving? Probably something that you should that you should uh, implement, like you know, saving the game. So now that I don't have to play it again from start, I will definitely play this game a little bit more. But I love how it feels. I love the look of this game. It's nice. It's story mode. I love that you implemented the talking and everything. Congratulations, Rana. This game rocks. Awesome, really awesome. For those of you guys who want to download it, try it out. Link will be in the description below. If you want me to play your games, just send me on developer at awesometoots.com and I will play your games in one of my upcoming next videos. I want to make this series, you know, series so that we publish every week one video. That is my goal at least. Exceptions are when I'm too tired and I don't have the time to make it, but you know, at least three or four videos per month, even more, possibly more of me playing your game so that we can learn from each other, see and showcase what the community has made. And uh, yeah, again, developer at awesometoots.com to submit your game, fire from awesometoots.com, check out my Ultimate Game Development Academy, link will be in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.